The exploration of space is a long and ongoing journey. While the JWST is currently the most advanced tool for studying the universe, other space missions are also contributing to our understanding of the cosmos. Upcoming missions, like the James Webb successor, the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, are designed to provide even more detailed information about distant exoplanets and galaxies. Despite the challenges of exploring the vastness of space, humanity's curiosity and drive for discovery remain stronger than ever. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration, we may one day uncover answers to some of the most profound questions about the universe, life, and our place within it. The search for extraterrestrial life is particularly fascinating. Although we've yet to find direct evidence of life beyond Earth, every discovery brings us one step closer to answering this age-old question. Whether it's signs of microbial life on Mars or strange lights on distant exoplanets, we are steadily expanding our understanding of what's out there in the universe. Moreover, space exploration offers a unique perspective on Earth itself. As we look at other planets and their atmospheres, we gain a greater appreciation for the fragility of our own world. Understanding how other planets can support or not support life can help us better understand the challenges we face in sustaining life on Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is leading the way in this monumental journey of discovery. With each new image it sends back, we are reminded of how vast and mysterious the universe truly is. There is so much more to learn, and as technology continues to evolve, the possibilities for space exploration are endless. Ultimately, the study of space is not just about answering scientific questions. It's about inspiring the next generation of explorers and thinkers. It's about challenging our imaginations and pushing the limits of what we can achieve. And perhaps, one day, it will lead to the discovery that we are not alone in the universe, a revelation that would change everything. As we continue to look up at the stars, the journey of space exploration will only accelerate, unveiling new worlds, new mysteries, and, potentially, new forms of life. The universe is waiting for us to explore it, and with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope and future space missions, we are one step closer to unraveling its deepest secrets. Beyond the reach of our skies, the story of space unfolds. A tale written in light, shadow, silence, and time. As the James Webb Space Telescope peers deeper into the fabric of existence, it uncovers not just stars and galaxies, but cosmic riddles that challenge everything we thought we knew. Yet Webb is not alone. A fleet of future missions waits in the wings, eyes, ears, and instruments designed to push further into the unknown. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will chart the invisible, mapping dark energy and the hidden bones of the cosmos. The extremely large telescope will stand beneath Earth's skies, yet reach for the edge of creation, capturing the light of world in the infinite stillness beyond our world, where time floats like mist and stars hang like ancient lanterns, a discovery stirs the silence. A world has been found. Not a fantasy, not a myth, but a real planet, orbiting a distant sun, echoing the familiarity of Earth. Its name is Kepler 452b. To the astronomers who gaze into the darkness, it is more than a speck of light, it is a whisper of possibility. It circles a star much like our own, in a region called the habitable zone. That delicate space where temperatures might allow oceans to breathe and rivers to flow. Some have called it Earth's cousin, a poetic reflection of home, far across the void. Could clouds form in its skies? Could rain fall on alien mountains? Could something stir beneath the soil? If we were to send the seeds of Earth, trees, flowers, blades of grass, would they root in the alien ground and reach for the foreign sun? These are questions science cannot yet answer. But the dream has been planted. Yet Kepler 452b lies over 1,400 light years away. A distance so vast that, even at the speed of light, the journey would take generations. It is unreachable, for now, but not unknowable. And still, the cosmos does not sleep. Another world has risen in our collective imagination, K218b. This planet orbits a faint red star in the constellation Leo, 124 light years from Earth a distance nearly 700 trillion miles away. 
It is larger than Earth, about 2.6 times wider, and surrounded by a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere that may cloak an ocean world. But what makes K218 be more than a curiosity, is what lies within its sky. The James Webb Space Telescope, our newest, most powerful eye into the universe, has glimpsed its atmosphere. And in that glimpse, a chemical voice was heard. Dimethyl sulfide. And dimethyl disulfide. Here on Earth, these are produced almost exclusively by life, especially by tiny oceanic creatures known as plankton. On K218b, these molecules are not just present. They are abundant. Perhaps even thousands of times more so than in Earth's own skies. It's as if something is breathing there, in patterns we almost recognize. Professor Niku Madhusudan of Cambridge led the analysis. As K218b crossed in front of its red star, starlight filtered through its atmosphere, and in that light molecules left their fingerprints. Those fingerprints reveal chemical dances, and from those dances, we can guess what kinds of atmospheres, and perhaps even environments, lie below. The signal reached a confidence level of 3 sigma, statistically speaking, only a 0.3% chance that it's a coincidence. Not yet proof. But close enough to lean in. To hold our breath. To wonder. Could this be life? Yet not all scientists agree. Dr. Nora Henney of the University of Bern reminds us to be cautious. Nature has its tricks. Volcanic plumes, chemical reactions, and cometary dust can sometimes produce what looks like the breath of life. And even though DMS and DMDS come from biology on Earth, who's to say they don't arise differently elsewhere? The planet may not even be watery. Some models suggest it's a mini-Neptune, gas-drenched, swirling, stormy, with no solid ground. Other theories say it might be covered in molten rock, or under crushing atmospheric pressure, hostile to life as we know it. And yet, the signals are there. And they do not go away. If K218b is what some hope, an ocean world wrapped in hydrogen,